Hello, and welcome back to part two of our video series covering Singularity Container Services. In case you missed it, the first video in this series gave a short introduction to Singularity Container Services, while this video will include a container workflow in Windows with the following components. Windows Subsystem Linux, or WSL2, with Ubuntu 20.04, Singularity CE, Scilab Singularity Container Services, TensorFlow and a sample data set, and an NVIDIA GPU. The Singularity Open Source Container Project was created in 2016 and has received many improvements along the way. This is thanks in part to the dedication of the open source community as well as the creation of the Singularity image format, also known as SIF. SIF continues to grow as shown by the adaptation of Red Hat and Podman and the support of SIF through various registries such as Amazon ECR, NVIDIA NGC, Azure Batch Shipyard, and other container runtimes. Here are just a few of the many benefits of the SIF container format. Now, we move on to our first demonstration of the series. This demonstration is based off of a blog post titled CUDA GPU Containers on Windows WSL2 and will include the following steps. Updating the Linux environment, installing the latest NVIDIA drivers and container tools, and installing Singularity CE on WSL2. If you do not yet have WSL2 or a distribution installed, please pause here and go to the description where you will find a link to the blog I referenced earlier alongside all of the code we used and various other relevant links. We are starting with WSL2 installed already and are using Ubuntu 20.04 for our distribution, so step one in our demonstration is getting the WSL2 environment ready. Open up your Ubuntu app and drop into a WSL2 session. First, we'll update the installation of Ubuntu in WSL2 using the noted command. The installation may take some time, so be patient while it does the installation. Singularity natively supports running application containers that use NVIDIA's CUDA GPU compute framework. So next, we'll install the NVIDIA utilities. First, fetch and add the signing key and repository file. Then, get the NVIDIA metadata from the new repositories. After that, you can install the needed packages. Next, we move on to installing Singularity. In this demonstration, we will be using Singularity CE. If you are looking to follow along using Singularity Pro, installation instructions can be found in either the Scilab Singularity Pro welcome email or the Singularity Pro admin guide. We are using the packages available on our GitHub releases page for the installation. Once the installation is complete, we will use a quick Singularity version check to test it. Then, we will use Alpine to perform an exec operation on a base container stored in the Singularity Container Services library. All is looking good so far, so we'll move on to configuring the NVIDIA GPU. Because the NVIDIA Container CLI utility is a new and somewhat experimental feature, the pre-built packages are not set up by default. So, we need to add the functionality by editing the Singularity configuration file. Find the NVIDIA CLI path and update it with the noted code. And finally, we will run an NVIDIA command to detect GPU availability. Success! Windows now has the NVIDIA drivers installed, Ubuntu distribution of 20.04 is running inside WSL2, and Singularity CE is installed with NVIDIA libraries packages. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Be sure to watch part three, where we will continue to add on to what we have done so far by configuring Singularity CE to use Singularity Container Services and get to play with some containers. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this, and feel free to leave us a comment if you have any questions or comments about what you'd like to see from us in the future. Thanks and have a great day!